Hi boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys, uh, Johnny Katal coming to you live here at Kilmore East in, in a dear friend and colleague, Dr. Tony Burns' place. Thank you, Tony. I acknowledge that music, the background music is from NASA. The footage that they've taken of the um, universe. We're using that for educational purposes. And then the, all the credit goes to them and we thank them so sincerely for that. Today's reading comes from St. Luke Gospel 15, chapter 17, April the 27th. Speaks about children and how unconditional love we as parents have for our children. When he came home to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired men have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. I remember the prodigal son, the story that came from that passage continues on the most generous thing that most people will ever do is to bring up their children this is not to deny the generosity of those who don't have children nor the great rewards and pleasures of parenthood from the day a baby first cries at some ungodly hour to the day the teenager rings to help for help at some ungodly hour to the day that the child needs help with his or her own children at some ungodly hour, there is no doubt that children ask a lot. They teach their parents how to be generous. Perhaps this is one factor which helps to explain the astonishing number of abortions which takes place in Australia, around 80,000 a year. In many of those cases, people simply choose to spend their time or money in other ways. It is tragic choice. It results in loss of human life. Few people make the choice for or against life in the, in the dire circumstances as Gianna Berita Mola, 1922-1962 whom the church remembers today. Gianna was a podiatrician who somehow managed to combine the demands of life, of a career and two small children. During her third pregnancy in 1962, she was diagnosed with a tumor in her womb and was advised to have a hysterectomy, which in normal circumstances would abort the fetus. Catholic moral teaching may well have allowed a hysterectomy in such circumstances, but Gianna's cho choice was to put the life of the baby ahead of her own. Remarkably, the baby was delivered safely via cesarean. Although Gianna died of peritonitis, a week later, she made a heroic choice. Parents make real, if smaller, sacrifices all the time. As we dwell and we reminisce and we think, digest the reading for today, we are we're reminded that parenthood is a gift, is a blessing, and children are our, our, our priceless. You can't put a price tag on children. Unconditional love for us to them stays till we leave out and go for eternal rest. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being with me today. And we'll continue to bring forward the, the word each day. May God continue to bless you and your families.